Oh, shit. <laughs> you guys are going to have to skip the first slide and let you know that the story starts with uh, Cal Anderson Park, or more accurately, leaving Cal Anderson Park. I was with my friend Fu. Fu just got a mountain bike, and all he had to do was point and glide right down this little path here in the center, which you can see is no big deal. But Fu looked up, and he saw it, and my slide's really messed up. Uh, he looked up, and he saw it, and he was completely afraid. He thought that it was this big downhill course when all it was was really just a little descent, and Fu is not a pro mountain biker. So Fu panicked, and Fu wound up in the bushes, unfortunately. And I was laughing, but as soon as I stopped laughing, I knew what had happened. You see, my friends and I, who were on the first slide, we've been mountain biking for a long time, and we used to teach people how to mountain bike. We would lead these group rides, and we would try to put together mantras about what people should do. You see, mountain biking is a lot of little movements. It's kind of complicated. But if you tell people just keep one thing in your mind, they can pretty well do it. They can manage it. We started with our favorite mantra at the time, which was fear is the mind killer from Dune. It's big, it's bold, it tells you not to be afraid. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you shit about riding a mountain bike. So we had to go back to the drawing board. And we kind of thought about what we would tell each other, and we could sum it up one way. You will go where you look. We would tell each other, you know, pick your line, follow the leader, watch the trail, whatever. It all means that you, if your eyes point to where your bicycle goes. It's kind of, uh, it's actually a lot like that whole thing Bruce Lee used to talk about, you know, like water goes around the rock, it doesn't try and go through the rock. It's about watching where the, the points of opportunity are, not watching where the obstacles are. This came in really useful when my friends and I started motorcycling. Because what they teach you when you ride a motorcycle is you don't just point your eyes at a turn, you actually turn your whole head into it and keep looking through it the whole way. So, uh, you know, that's great, but once you know a course really well, like say if you're Nicky Hayden riding at Laguna Seca, that doesn't matter anymore. He can turn his head around, look back at the other racers and not fall off the trail, or in this case, the course. Ha! <sighs> but this can also be applied to business. One of the first things you learn to do when you're riding is not to look down at your feet. If you look down at your feet, that's exactly where you crash. You can take a look exactly where Palm looked down at its own feet here. Another thing about going where you look, if you're spending so much time looking at where everybody else is going, then you wind up going down their path, not the one you're on. So that can be a big mistake, especially if you shouldn't be on that path to begin with. You will do what you believe is really just fear is the mind killer turned around. It's a little positive version of it. Because really, mountain biking is about committing to your actions. There's a lot of people who stood in here these past couple of days and have told us about these adventures they've had where they didn't know if something was going to work, they didn't know anything about it, but they took the leap and they did it, and they committed to it. And really, all they had to do was believe that it would work out but you have to believe the entire time. That's the problem. A lot of people panic in the middle, and then they freak out, and then they have the worst accidents of their lives. You have to stay committed the entire time you're doing something. How do you do it? You relax, damn it. You know when you tell people to relax? That's the one thing they don't do. If you say relax, damn it, it turns it into a joke. It's something that they can have fun with. So relaxing is good for two reasons. The first is actually the physics of the way a mountain bike works. If you're all stiff, and then all of the little bumps and turns on the trail get put up into you and you're gonna crash, it's, it's not gonna be pretty fun. But the other thing is to remember that mountain biking is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be this effort. It's not supposed to be something that you cry about. It's not supposed to be something you worry about. You do it with your buds. It's just mountain biking. Relax, damn it. Finally, keep your wheels rolling. I really wish I knew enough about physics to tell you guys why when you lock up your brakes and stop your wheels, all of a sudden your bike like just goes all skittish, but it does. The secret is to actually let up, to keep your wheels rolling. And the more you do that, the more you're gonna stay on course. Even though it's just a little bit scary, you find you make it all the way through. So I hope now you don't crash.